Okay, good evening everyone. Leah and Tank here, Woman and Woman Homestead. We wanted to share with you all a huge mail call from our great dear friend and subscriber, uh, Shell's Home Place Journal, uh, or Crone Me. I like to call her Ma Shell. Um, I am just elated and in tears right now. Um, I wanted to let her know that it did arrive. And this particular box, she knows that I've been studying and reading up and experimenting with lots of calendula. We have dried calendula here. And in here, I'm so excited. For me to be able to make some more jam, there's all natural pectin. This looks like it's a good, probably what, babe, two pounds? Uh -huh. Two pounds of pectin. And then, I'm so happy about this. Uh... Herbal Remedies, a, a, river, a, the, a really nice book by Andrew, uh, easy to use. She packaged that up very lovely. I'm guessing, because I cried and whined that I was running out of raised bags, I'm thinking that these green thingies uh, are 24-pound bags. Okay, this is one set of the bags. We also have an Ikea bag. All right. And then we have two of the black grow bags. So now we can plant some more items and get some things going. She also gracefully sent us the Harriet movie for movie night. Are you, honey? Um, Tank actually has a new... I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to hold the camera. Rolling pin down there. And then the postmaster wasn't so nice. A lot of our mail is like snail mail. So I wanted her to know that a lot of these plants she sent, um, they she thought that they would potentially be dead, but they're not. Um, and here is some uh, variegated... I, I hope I'm saying this variegated sage and rosemary so here is the sage he's not dead we're going to get him in the ground like asap that's the sage that we're going to put in full sun here's him there's still some life we're not giving up and i believe this is the rosemary or no that's something this one this Oh, gosh. Oh, that smells phenomenal. The rosemary. Michelle, it's living still. This one's a little brown. He's living, too. So that's the rosemary, and this is the sage, which I love and adore sage. So all of these plants with this note. And then over here for my apothecary items, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Woohoo! Six beautiful amber bottles with droppers with droppers and extra droppers over here on the side so we have like two green and like three um of the brown which i really need for all these um herbs that i've been blending and um experimenting with And then hang on guys, I'll be back with you because I want to unpack this other bag of flowers and share that with you. This is a bit long and intense video because there's a lot to share with you. So hang on, I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so this is going to be part one of a two-part series. Because we have so many living plants that we have to get um, in the soil. Besides these here that we'll plant in the full sun in a moment in the herb garden in the front. But right here I wanted to share with you, I have some wild yarrow, which I'm excited about. So partially sunny location, Tank and I are gonna figure this out and we will do a part two to this video. Um, we just wanna say- Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, Michelle. It's been a rough time. You guys haven't seen a lot of videos from us. Um, I've been out of work for a while and I just recently, started back to work pretty laborious feel so um 
this helps us out tremendously. You know, times are a little rough, but when you've got herbal books and plants and people supporting you, it makes life that much better. Once again, thank you, Michelle. And we will see you guys in the next video when we show you what we're planning up and where we're putting everything. All right, everyone. Peace and be well.